In this video, I will calculate the limit when x approaches zero of e to the six x plus four x to the power of two over x. And I will use the identity in limits, which is limit when x approaches zero of one plus x to the power of one over x equal e. Based on this, I'm gonna to try to, go, to get something to work from here to here in some way. And then I'm gonna start the limit when x approaches zero. I will factor out the e to the six x, e to the six x, and then one, I have my one already, and then four x over e to the six x, everything to the power of two over x. And then I will separate the limits. I will create something here. Going back, I'm going to say limit when x approaches zero of e to the six x, everything to the power of two over x times limit when x approaches zero of one plus four over x over e to the six x. Um, and we write the inverse, uh, the reciprocal, sorry, of this, which is e to the six x over four x. And then I'm gonna close everything and give it the power of two, but because I have created six x at the top here, I need to divide by e to the six x. And because I have a four here, to get a two, I need to, to multiply by four. Okay, multiply by four, that's the thing I created e to the six x multiplied by four. The x was there already before. And the two was there. Now we're gonna have, this is simple. The x cancel the x, six and two is 12 and the limit of a number is a number. And then I have e to the 12 here. Remember, but this identity, the limit when x approaches zero of this is e. Now we have e times e, the whole thing is e to the limit when x approaches zero from the right side, everything here is zero from the right side of a divided by e to the six x. But we can replace x by zero and get e to the zero is one. I mean, if at one time a, a divided by one is eight. I mean, we're gonna have, the answer is gonna be e to the 12 times e to the a, which is e to the 12 plus a, eight, which is e to the 20. And this is the answer of the limit. Thank you.